So this presentation is about the Student Digital Champions of the Digital Education Office in the University of Bristol. It, the role began in 2020. We built on existing staff digital champion roles and feedback that we've got from student surveys, such as the Digital Insights Survey. The 12 students that we have across six faculties have been changing the way that we work as a team, really challenging us with some new ideas. And they've also been forging a new path for us. Hi, I'm Naomi and I'm a Senior Digital Education Developer in the Digital Education Office. We wanted the roles of the Student Digital Champs to be a really collaborative one, where we worked alongside them to enable both of us to get something out of the experience. And I think we really achieved this. It's definitely been developmental uh, from our side and theirs. This was a brand new role and it was different from any student work that we've done before. So we had to work out how we were going to work with the students and this has changed and evolved as time has gone on. And this whole process often wasn't easy. Uh, it's hard when students come to you with ideas or issues that concern them and their peers. And we as a team can't see a way to fix those issues or implement those ideas. Uh, but despite the few hurdles that we've had to overcome, the experience has been amazing. Uh, the students have been fantastic and it's great to work with people who are so positive and committed to improving their educational experience. On a personal level, um, I think just the opportunity to be involved in something that's so relevant and current within the university. Um, it's just been really nice to feel that you're helping um, and that the work you're doing is really useful and really relevant to staff and students. On a professional level, I think it's just been some really great work experience, um, particularly this year when um, kind of lots of people's internships got cancelled and with COVID the job market is seeming quite scary. Um, and I've been really grateful to kind of develop my professional skills through this role. Um, so for example, it's project work where we're working as part of a broader team and then within that broader team, um, we formed our team of the three student digital champions in our faculty. Um, as well as that, I've been given some great opportunities. For example, I hosted the DEO morning meeting, um, which, yeah, was just a really great opportunity um, and something that I hadn't done before. But honestly, I've absolutely loved this role. I mean, the feedback from all of these things, specifically um, the breakout room toolkit and the online mingle session was incredible. I mean, first year students from that, because we actually facilitated one uh, with the Centre of Innovation, um, was so positive and they just said, you know, from, from they were feeling so much more um, kind of positive about this term and they felt that they'd spoken to people that they hadn't met before and that they were, you know, felt like they were part of the community and that was amazing that our work kind of could, could contribute to that. And like, I know like, it's also helped a lot of other departments have come forward and be like, okay, can I do this too? And so that's been great to see such a tangible effect. Um, it's also great because then students feel listened to and they feel like that, you know, they're being heard and that actually their feedback does have an influence on what what gets done. You know, all of this has been in the past three months. This is, you know, so much, so many of the digital champions have worked so hard and so much has changed. Um, so that's been amazing. It's also been great on a professional level in the sense that I've got just in three months, three really tangible outputs to show to employ employers of what I've done and what I've worked on um, and like I always say it's, it's been such a great opportunity to in such a challenging time and what would have been such a stressful thing to turn that into an opportunity and get involved in shaping what blended learning looks like at the University of Bristol and what this could look like in the future and I just think that is such an incredible opportunity that I'm so grateful for and also it's just been such a great opportunity for me on like a professional level to have this role because I've, you know, I've facilitated sessions, I've worked with the DEO, which is like a much more senior team. I've worked with, you know, I've got involved in other faculties and all of this stuff, like I just, I wouldn't have done if it hadn't been for this role. I would have very much stayed, stayed in my lane and stayed in my course. And so I think, yeah, I think that's amazing to kind of give other students the opportunity to do that and to look into that and to understand, I guess, what goes on in, in university and how they kind of put courses together, I think. Throughout their time with us, they've produced a series of practical solutions like different toolkits and also some case studies so that we can see what's going on around the university. And they also challenged us to set up a student facing blog, which we did, and it's called DigiTalk. There's still so much more to do. And I think, especially when we think about what 
online learning or the online experience is going to look like going forward after this. I think that you know that's really important to involve students in what they want that to look like, and what that could look like, and equally what they don't want it to look like. And I think um, that's really important, especially at this point when students can still feel kind of overwhelmed and slightly scared about the future because so much is still uncertain. So how could you work with student solutions like this? Channel the student voice in your work and maybe improve inclusive practice. Practice. 